Hello everyone, myself Farmer Sonone. In this video, we will see how to create the drafting for this model along with the GDNT in Creo Parametric. So let us see how to do it. So go to the Creo, new. So first of all, we'll draw the part and check this use default template. Give the file name. Let's see plate. Okay. Now here it will ask you to select the units. So I will select MMNS part solid. Say okay. Now this will open the part workbench. Here we'll create this drawing. So here you can see this is the front view and this is the side view. So we'll go on extruding on the front plane and say sketch view. Here we'll draw a center rectangle like this. Now here we are provided with the horizontal and vertical dimensions. So the horizontal dimension is 91.2 plus 16 on two side. So double click on this and change it to 91.2 plus 16 on two side. So that results in 123.2. Now also change the dimension. This is 40 plus 14 on two side. So I will say 40 plus 14 on two side. So that will result in 68. Now here, this is the side view, but here the dimension is not mentioned. So we'll take some appropriate dimension. Let's say 20 and say okay over here. Now here we'll hide all the planes and axes. So we'll create this hole that is of diameter 12.5 and it is in of four multiples. So let us create that hole first. So select the hole command, click on the surface and you will see two dragger. So this is for adjusting the hole position. Okay. Now here you can see the diameter, diameter is 12.5, double click on it, change it to 12.5 and the end dimensions for this 12.5 hole are 14 and 16. So 16 is horizontally, so I will change 16 horizontally and vertically 14 and simply say ok because this hole is throughout now and say ok now this is of dimension 12.5 is created now we'll mirror that hole so simply select the hole command activate here the plane display go for mirror select this plane say ok now we'll mirror this hole and mirror one select with the control button and then go to mirror and select this plane here you can see the features are mirror now we will create this center hole so for that we will go to hole again select the hole select the surface here again you have to adjust the dagger accordingly so here this dimension is 22.2 so double click on it changes to 22.2 and this vertical and horizontal dimension is provided so vertically it is 20 plus 14 that is 34 20 plus 14 and this horizontally it is 45.6 plus 16 45.6 plus 16 okay okay so you can see it is come at the center now so our model is created over here so we'll go for the drafting now for this model so control save this okay now we'll say control d that is the default orientation now we'll go for file new drawing now here it is saying use drawing model file name so here our drawing will take the same name as of our part name. So here we'll use default template and check this. 
we'll go for the empty with format okay browse from here C format save okay now here you will see that the drafting workbench so here you will see a sheet with the format okay so we'll place our views into this sheet now go to the general view no combined state okay click over here one time and select here front view and go to the view display select here no hidden apply okay again projection view that is a side view double click on it view display will select no hidden apply okay now we will fit this view into our sheet so we'll just increase the scale so we'll make it to 2.5 no it's bigger actually so we'll make it to 2, two. that looks better now okay now we'll go with hiding the plane display over here so here first of all we'll create this axis or we'll show this axis rather so for showing those axis we'll select that view we'll go to annotate here go to show model annotation and in, in that select this datum here you will see all the axis so activate all these axis which we require as per the drawing simply say apply and cancel okay now here you can see your axis are created you can actually adjust these axis as well as per the drawing okay like this we can adjust it now we'll go for the dimensioning okay so we'll create basically first these dimensions which are inside the boxes so for that we'll simply select whole show model annotation go to the dimension here you can see the dimensions are automatically coming so these dimensions are those dimensions which we used while creating the part so here we will select the required all the dimensions okay so select here we need this 522.2 okay i don't need that now select this 14 mm dimensions 16 mm dimensions okay so these are the required dimensions apply cancel okay you can place these dimensions anywhere okay as per your wish if you want to place this dimension here you can place it manually also so simply delete this you can place all the dimension manually select this dimension and select this edge and this center axis and press middle mouse button so here you can see 14 mm dimension okay now we'll create all the dimensions required from here to here and press middle mouse button this 16 so select this dimension here to here 16 so select this press control button select this this is 91.2 okay so we'll just move until outside like this 
select the dimension again select this and this with control button and place dimension with the help of middle mouse button click okay 16 it's created over there 14 20 this 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 dimension is remaining that is 14 and so now here you can see we have created the basic dimension manually okay now these dimensions are inside the box so they, these are called as the basic dimensions so these basic dimensions are not provided with any tolerance so basically they are theoretically perfect dimensions so select all these dimensions one by one so select this dimension then control press button select all the dimensions okay. now we want to show this dimension as a basic dimension but after selecting this here you can see your tolerance is not activated so first of all we need to activate that tolerance button for that go to file prepare drawing properties here detail option here in option search tolerance you will see the tolerance display simply say enter here you will say no I will say yes so that it will show over here now say add change ok now close this one here you can see tolerance command will be activated so in tolerance command you can see the basic so select this basic so in this way you can put the dimensions inside the box so these are dimensions are called as the basic size now next we will give the diameters to these holes so for giving the diameters we will select the dimension we will select this hole H so it is showing the radius so we will again click on that so we'll double click to show the diameter so double click on this so it will show the diameter single click will show the radius and double click will show the diameter so place here like this select the di dimension again double click and place over like this now here we will create the datums datum a b c okay now how to create datum so we'll use the datum feature symbol over here now first datum is your here so for select the datum feature symbol select the H and place like this now here A is there we want A simply say enter simply middle click the mouse button now again select the datum feature symbol we'll give the B datum over this edge B show like this we can move it outside like this again select the datum feature symbol this edge now we want C that's ok move outside so in this way we have shown the datums so datum A is called as the primary datum because your this edge will be going to place on surface table for inspection so the edge with ref which is mentioned over is here is the A so it is called as the primary datum and B and C are called as the secondary and tertiary datum respectively now here you can see there are four circle with diameter 12.5 now how to write this so simply select this 12.5 here go to dimension text and here simply write four times that's okay now four times 12.5 now this hole is provided with the dimensional tolerance that is symmetry tolerance of 0.3 mm 
So simply select this hole, go to tolerance, here you can see symmetric tolerance and it is given 0.3. So simply give it 0.3. Enter. Now here we will press this feature based control frame. So how to press this? Go to the geometrical tolerance, select this now here we will see that we want the position tolerance. Now here position tolerance with diameter 0.4 mm. So here we will change it to 0.4 mm. Right. 0.4 mm and 0.4 mm is with diameter symbol. So we need to add here diameter symbol. So go to here symbol and add the diameter symbol. After 0.4 mm there is the maximum material condition M. So add that maximum material condition symbol from here. Now after that there are the datums A, B and C. So we can add the datums here. Datum A with capital letter. Here in datum B. Here datum C. Like this. So here you can see that feature control frame is created. So here how we will read this feature control frame. So here there is a position tolerance on hole. So position tolerance on hole is within 0.4 mm at maximum material condition with respect to datum A, B and C. So in this way you can read it. Now to this there is feature datum D. So select datum feature symbol, select this and give here D. Simply say OK. Now we will see this. So to this diameter there is a dimensional tolerance, symmetric dimension tolerance. Select this, go to tolerance, symmetric. Here we want 0.1 mm symmetric. Simply say OK. Again select it. Go with the geometrical tolerance. Select this. It will place automatically below it. OK. Now here we will have 0.2 mm. So we will show again symbol from here. Diameter symbol. After that maximum material condition. After that A and D. So here we will put A datum, here D datum is with maximum material condition. Okay, that's all. So here we created that feature control frame. So this feature control frame is controlling this whole position. So here we can read this as the position of hole must be within 0.2 mm at maximum material condition with respect to datum A and datum D at maximum material condition. Okay, so in this way we can draft this whole drawing. Hope you understood this tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you have any comment, you can comment it in comment section.